Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, the typical kind of like video ad creative formula and take you through it step by step. Um, this is typically my go to formula. What I would always kind of like start with with a new product. And these are my results for this month then. So you can see that it's the sort of thing that I do practice. And the thing I want to show you the most, though, is this is the cost per link click of 58 cents and then the click-through rate of 1.67 this is taken into account all of the ad sets as well which includes the one that haven't performed very well you want to be looking at anything over two percent ideally this time of year even higher really so work to two percent of kind of like your baseline so if you've been running any ads up to this point and they haven't worked out check what the numbers are and then rejig your ad creative to the formula that I'm going to show you in this video. Before we get into that formula though, I just want to very quickly introduce you to just 20 seconds of your time to a new dropshipping community that I created. It's 100% free for the first seven days, so completely risk-free. It's only been around for a few weeks and we already have over 11 pages of testimonials from people that have enjoyed being part of the community and the different results they've got. It's the top link in the description below, so head over there, check it out. You get a lot included in terms of like one-to-one -one time of my time. So the reason I created it is because when I got started in dropshipping, I didn't have lots and lots of money to invest into training and mentorships. Um, I got into dropshipping to try and make money because I didn't have enough. So I wanted to create a community where people can still get those mentorship elements. So for example, um, until Black Friday, you can get a free seven day trial. Within that free seven day trial, you can get unlimited product page reviews, unlimited ad reviews. And I recently just added this element here too, which is the free personalized guidance. So if you're stuck or unsure with any part of dropshipping or where you're currently at now, and you're not sure what you need to do next, what you need to do is send your question in to me and I'll do a personalized video response, giving you actionable next steps. So check it out and see what you think. That being said, Let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video, which is the perfect video creative formula. So your video creative is obviously really, really important. In some ways, it's actually more important than the product you're selling, in my opinion. You could have a really, really good product, but if you don't advertise it in a very good way, it's not going to get the response and the business is going to fail, to be honest. But if you had a really kind of bad product, but you had a really, really good creative, then in my opinion, that setup is much more likely to succeed. So in some ways, your creative is actually more important than the product you select. And I think from a beginner standpoint of view as well, from the beginners I talk to, I should say that I see that being kind of like the number one issue. That's why I wanted to show you these numbers. So you need to be working to at least a 2% link click through and try and get your clicks to under a dollar or under a pound as well. Okay, so step one, the first couple of seconds of your ad, three seconds of your ad, it's what I call, what everybody calls the hook. It's the attention grabber. It's something quite shocking or dramatic to suck people in and get them to stop mindlessly scrolling through Facebook, through TikTok, through Instagram, and see what it is that you're trying to to talk about in your creative or to see what's in the creative. So in this instance, for this formula, I've chosen a toy because there's a lot of people selling toys with it being Q4, but it can be anything. So to give you examples, um, like Ace Mend, when they sold that back scratcher, the first three seconds was somebody hyperextending their back and in really loud cracking noises. It was quite like a gross effect that really kind of sucked people in and wanted people to continue watching. Or you might see it with pimple poppers or those hoovers that you use on your face to suck the dirt out. They would do the same thing. They would show a pimple being popped or they would show all the dirt being sucked out of someone's face straight away without even mentioning or showing the product because it's quite gruesome and it instantly kind of sucks people in. So your hook is the most important part of your creative, in my opinion. There's a famous saying in the marketing world. It's something like... Um, I think it's like 80, 80 cents of every dollar spent on marketing is spent in those first few seconds. It's the reason why when you run YouTube ads, you don't pay unless somebody watches past that five second mark because it's the most important. Okay, so when you've got your scroll stopper all set up, um, step two, you need to tell the person, tell the audience exactly who this product is for. Speak to them because if you say the right thing and you've targeted the right people, 
they will see it as like you are speaking directly to them. So for example, in this case, children over the ages of seven, seven plus, absolutely love this. Anybody who knows a child that's over seven will be like, what is that seven year old like? Because I have a seven year old. So what is my daughter or my son going to love? Or what is my granddaughter or grandson going to love? I need to see whether this is the social proof. And they absolutely love this. It could be a clip of a child laughing their head off to the product or really enjoying the product or asking to play with the product whatever it may be just make it obviously appropriate to the products that you're selling step three what is it so now you've got people's you've raised their curiosity you need to show them what it is so in this case it's an indestructible rc plane and immediately after you've showed people what it is lead in to the biggest key benefit to what the product is so in this case if you're targeting grandparents it could be gets children outside and off of screens grandparents when they grew up they didn't have screens they didn't they don't want to see their grandkids with their face in an ipad or watching tv they want to see them outside doing practical things getting their hands dirty um, and having fun so that is in my opinion with this product what i would use the biggest benefit to a grandparent watching this video are creative is it gets children outside Sorry about that interruption. The perks of working from home. So where was I? Yeah, lead into the main benefit of what a consumer is going to enjoy the most or is going to resonate with the consumer most. So in the case of a grandparent, they want to see their kids, their grandkids outside having fun, doing the things they did, getting in trouble, getting their hands dirty, that sort of thing. They don't want to see their faces stuck to a screen and just kind of monotonously watching videos or whatever it may be. Social proof to structure it throughout your creative, lots of different social proof in lots of different places. The biggest mistake I see people doing in their creative as well as their product pages is they put all the social proof at the end. The majority of the people who go to your website won't scroll to the bottom and see the social proof. The majority of the people who watch your creative won't watch it to the end and see the social proof either. So have it scattered throughout. Step five, answer the FAQs. What you want to do in your video ad creative is give your consumer all of the information they need to know about a product so that when they arrive on your website, they're ready to make the purchase there and then. If they have to spend time searching around on your website for answers to questions, the more time they have to get distracted or bored and end up leaving without making a purchase. Step six, more social proof. So in this case, you could have um, scrolling through, just screen record your website, the reviews on your website and scroll through them. A bit like I did earlier on actually when I showed you the reviews of the community. It gives off that impression that there's lots and lots of testimonials because there's so much to scroll through. So do the same thing in your ad creative to give off that impression that lots of people have been part of it and had a good result. Another really good kind of like strategy I saw a dropshipping company do called Twink and Tree. They would actually screen record somebody on their website so almost like preempts it shows the consumer the process that they're going to go through so that when they arrive on the website they feel like they've been there before if that makes sense it definitely removes any kind of confusion because there's no thinking about what they have to do they've already seen what they have to do to make a purchase if that makes sense step seven the cta and the scarcity give people a reason to act now if you don't, they will think, oh, that's a pretty nice product. I'll come back tomorrow and buy it or I'll do it later. I'm busy or I'm just going to keep scrolling. I'll come back later. When people say they're going to come back later, what do they do? They don't come back later. Give them a reason to do it that second. So in this example, it's actually quite a weak CTA. I would actually make it a bit stronger. So instead of shop now and get 40% off, it could be today like use the word today to give people a reason to do it there and then and then there's lots of different offers and benefits or bonuses you could give to people to take action it could be 40 percent off it could be um, a more tangible thing like 20 pound off or it could be free delivery or it could be a free gift whatever it may be there's lots and lots of different ones these are different things that you could split test Speaking of split testing as well, the hook, if you're going to swap out and change up your creative to split test different things, the hook is the most important thing because a good hook will keep your viewer interested in order to watch the rest of the video. So if you're going to split test and do different things, step one, the hook is most important. 
with that being said guys thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to go and check out my community let me know your feedback on that as well as the video if there's anything i can do to help you guys um just leave a comment down below i read every single one so i will get back to you thanks thanks for watching